a series of transformations on quadrilateral S resulted in quadrilateral T. The angle measures of quadrilateral T are congruent to those of quadrilateral S. The side lengths of quadrilateral T are twice as long as those of quadrilateral S. So, which transformation on quadrilateral S must be included to result in quadrilateral T? So, is it a dilation, a reflection, a translation, or a rotation? A dilation is a transformation that produces an image that is the same shape as the original, but in a different size. Compared to a reflection, a translation, and a rotation, they don't change the shape, the shape or the size. So as we can see here, it says the side lengths of quadrilateral T are twice as long as those of quadrilateral S. So the size has changed. So that's why it will be a dilation. What is the average of A and B based on the conditions given below? Assuming that both A and B are positive. So the given is AB equals to 16 and A over B equals to 4. To find the average of A and B, we need first to find the values of A and B given that A over B equals to 4. So we will convert 4 as a fraction. So it will be equals 4 over 1. After that, we will do a cross multiplication. So 8 multiplies 1 and B multiplies with 4. If A equals to 4B. The given A, B equals to 16. A is 4B. Four B squared, which will equals to sixteen. After that, we will divide both by four. So four divided by four and sixteen divided by four. So we will delete the four and four, and it will be as B squared equals to sixteen divided by four, which is four. The square root of four equals to two. So B equals to 2. If A equals to 4B, A will be equals to 4 times 2. So A equals to 8. So the average of A and B equals to A plus B over 2. A equals to 8 plus 2. 2 which is b over 2 b equals to 10 over 2 10 over 2 equals 5 so the answer of this question is 5 which match option c summary statics for the number of campsites in different emirates in the uae are as follows minimum 0 q1 35 Median 61, Q3 95, maximum 300, mean 73.2, standard deviation 58. A check of the data shows that 5 has been subtracted from every value to bring the minimum to 0 for some calculation proposed. If 5 is added back to every value, what will now be interquartile range and the standard division? First, adding or subtracting a constant amount to each value in a set of data doesn't affect the standard division and the interquartile range, since the distance from the center does not change only the location of the center. To find the interquartile, subtract the value of the lower quartile Q1 from the upper quartile Q3. IQR.
equals Q3. minus q1 q3 is 95 and q1 minus q1 is 35 95 minus 35 equals 60 so choice one is correct IQR equals 60 and the SD equals 58. Exterior angle theorem. For a triangle, the exterior angle D equals the angles A plus B. The exterior angle D is greater than angle A or angle B. Example, the exterior angle is 35 degrees plus 62 degrees equals 97 degrees and 97 degrees is greater than 35 degrees and 97 degrees is greater than 62 degrees now i am going to explain an MSAT question that is involved an exterior angle of a triangle what is the measure of the angle tru in the triangle given below the length of the side RS equals the length of the side RT equals the length of the side TU. The measure of the angle RTS is 50 degrees. Given that the length of the side RT is equal to the length of the side TU. So the measure of angle TRU equals the measure of angle TUR. The exterior angle STR which is measured 50 degrees equals the measure of angle TRU plus the measure of angle TUR. So the measure of angle TRU equals half of the measure of the exterior angle half of 50 degrees is 25 degrees a series of transformations on quadrilateral s resulted in quadrilateral t the angle measures of quadrilateral t are congruent to those of quadrilateral s the side length of quadrilateral t are twice as long as those of quadrilateral S. Which transformation on quadrilateral S must be included to result in quadrilateral T? After any of those transformations, reflections, translations, and rotations, the shape still has the same size, area, angles, and line length. Given that the side length of quadrilateral T are twice as long as those of quadrilateral S. So the answer is dilation. The question here is asking what is the measure of TRU in the triangle given below? Here we see that RS, RT, and TU are all equal given that the angle RTS is 50. Seeing here we have a straight line. This angle is equal to 50 meaning that this angle here needs to add up to 180, which will be 130. Because this angle is 130, we need to find the angle TRU, which is this angle here. These two lines indicate that these angles are parallel. So the angle that we're looking for and the angle here are both parallel, meaning they are going to be equal. Because this angle here is 130, these two angles here need to add up to 50 because an angle in a triangle is 180. And as we have 130, again, it's going to equal to 50 for both of these angles. So dividing it by 2 will give us 25, which will be this answer.